Hey guys, so in this video I went solo ski dream with Chester, so basically he pulled a snowboard behind him as I drove him around. So it was pretty fun. This was filmed January 5th, um, so I don't know when I'm getting this out to you guys. But this was filmed January 5th when we had a little bit of snow still. I will give a disclaimer, please don't do this at home at the barn, in the pasture, in the arena, etc., etc., with your horse, with somebody else's horse. Um, don't get hurt, don't screw up a horse because you overestimated their ability. Chester is just that horse, so I pulled this little stunt. I would not pull this with any other horse. If you have a carding horse, obviously, um, you know calculate your wrists and stuff and prepare your horses if you're gonna try this at all but um, I recommend that you don't because there's a lot of risky things and this could have easily ended up in a wreck I just know how Chester acts and we did have a couple moments where he could have kicked my head off and that would have been that there was a couple times well that my lines, I lost a line at one point, and he has good enough verbal cues that when I said whoa, he woed. Um, I also um, wasn't paying attention, and one of my tug lines got under his legs, and so later in the video, you'll see me untangling him, but you'll also see how he stood perfectly still for that. So just know that this is not something just to go randomly do with your horse. This is a lot of stuff. Chester has been ground driven for hundreds of miles over the course of his career with me. He knows all of this. He's pulled logs. He's even pulled the sled before it was more on dirt. So my sled's kind of ruined on the bottom because of that. But just know that this horse is kind of special and it's not not an everyday thing you can go just hook up your horse tie him to a sled and call it good um, there's lots and lots of preparation and lots of dangers in this so yeah that's my disclaimer um, just don't don't do it if your horse isn't just that horse and even if you think it's that horse <laughs> you know be very careful so yeah so anyway, back to the more fun stuff. Um, I basically warmed Chester up, ground driving him. He hasn't ground driven in a little bit. So I was just making sure that he still understood his cues and freshed him up a little bit on it. Then I drug the sled behind him, like just myself dragging it. And then I tied it to one side. Um, I decided I needed two tugs instead of just the one. So I went and got both those. They're just lead ropes, um, two of my lead ropes that I made. And they're just tied onto the sides of the surcingle and then tied together and then clipped to my snowboard. My snowboard has a little hole in it so that I can clip stuff on. And he stood perfectly for me to kind of hitch him up and everything. Um, and as you can see, he kind of stops right here. So something I've kind of taught him is, you know, don't just keep pressing in if you feel stuck. Well, he felt stuck for a second while he was figuring it out, but he did really good um, just figuring that out. He went really slow at first trying to, you know, remember all of this. You can see he's super tender about his steps and I just have this little, I guess you would call it a whip. Um, just to guide him a little bit. I never actually hit him with it. It's a very light tap, something that I could tap anyone with and it would not, not cause pain or really discomfort. It's communication. It does look a little scary. I know some of you guys probably think that's a little scary, but it's really not. And then my video kept cutting out because my phone kept getting too cold, but here's some of the more fast stuff. We didn't get very much footage of the slow. And then I kept falling off. Um, luckily I caught myself on my feet most of the time. 
here's where I lost my line. You can see that line on the ground. And me looking at it, I only had one line. And he was awesome. And just kept carrying on until I said, whoa. And then he stopped and, you know, I got all together. But he was really awesome. You can also see every time I start falling, he stops. Um, he was really watching me out of the back of his eye, and which was really nice because if I fell and got hung up, I don't want him to keep going. And then after a couple laps, he started figuring out our verbal cues for go. There, I biffed it. There was one time that I literally face planted. I ate the snow but it was not on video because my phone got too cold. So, but we got some good footage anyway. Earlier I spoke on what like harness system I have. Um, for his bridle, he just has an English bridle. Also to add that Bryce collar is not taking on any weight. It's just there in case it's a single word to slip at some point. It's just as a protection from a wreck, but I do not have a regular driving harness. If somebody did want to sponsor one, I would love that. But at this point in time, I'm not buying one. That's kind of the setup I have right there. In the future, I would like to have a full cart set up for him. This is where that one tug line got underneath him. I got off my board and was having him turn around and the one side went loose and he got his legs over top of it. But you can see how good he stood for me to untangle him and then get my lines fixed because they got a little bit tangled up. But that's kind of all of the video I got. Here are some pictures I got from that. Um, I've been loving taking pictures. Here's biffing it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're also on... Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and so check those out um, thank you guys and I will see you guys in the next video